Hi, I'm Wendy Sadler. I'm a lecturer in science communication from Cardiff University and the director of Science Made Simple. Now, if you're a fan of science fiction films, you probably get absorbed by all the special effects and CGI. But for me, the most interesting thing about science fiction films are the sound effects that they use. And today we're going to meet a groundbreaking sound engineer who was really at the forefront of developing completely new technologies to do with science fiction sounds. And her name is Delia Derbyshire. Delia Derbyshire grew up in Coventry in the Second World War, and she was surrounded by the sound of air sirens. She became fascinated by electronic music and how you could make sounds using machines. She went to study maths and music at Cambridge University and she wanted to be a sound engineer. But at the time, in the 1960s, most of the studios would not employ a female engineer. However, the BBC Radiophonic Workshop would and that's where she went to work. Well, the first stage in the realisation of a piece of music is to construct the individual sounds that we're going to use. Delia was fascinated by the sounds she heard all around her and she loved to record the sounds from everyday objects which she would then use technology to manipulate to make them sound really different. So we're going to use a couple of everyday objects here. I've got a paper cup and a slinky spring and we're going to put them together in a way that would make Delia proud. We're going to try and create a science fiction sound effect. So the slinky provides the vibrations, which are a bit weird and unpredictable, and the cup makes the sound loud enough for us to hear, so it amplifies it. And if you put them together, you get something like this. Sort of weird laser gun sound effect. What we've got here is a really early electronic instrument. It's called a theremin and it's a really interesting way of using electronics to create sound. So here we've got two aerials, there's one here and there's a flat, flat one on the box. And if I bring my hand towards them, this flat aerial controls the volume or the amplitude of the wave, so that's how loud it is. And this one controls the frequency or the pitch of the wave, that's how high or low the note is. You can see it makes quite cool science fiction sounds, which is really great. Incredibly hard to play. It works because you've got basically capacitors inside here in this circuit, and your hand is acting like one plate of, of one of the capacitors. So the closer you are to that aerial, the shorter the distance is, and that affects the voltage going out of the circuit. And that might control the pitch of the note, or it might control the volume of the note, depending on which aerial you're at. Now there was a myth going around that this is what Delia used to record the Doctor Who theme, but that isn't the case. She would have used oscillators and changed those pitches like that. What Delia would have done is put together all these new electronic sounds into a whole piece of music. She would have recorded them onto tape machines, played them at different speeds, looped them around, sped them up and slowed them down. And all of this would have taken her weeks. And it's stuff we can do these days just with the touch of a button. So her dedication to electronic music is phenomenal. And she created what is billed as the first ever electronic music TV theme. As a physics music geek myself, I have to say she's an unsung heroine of mine and I think she should go down in the history books as being a real groundbreaker in electronic music. Don't forget to subscribe for more great content and if you want to find out more about FameLab, the world's leading science communication competition, then click for more information here. Thanks for watching.